Hello students, welcome to all of you Shiksha 360 and today basically we have to discuss very very important session and this topic basically we have to cover in three parts. In first and second part basically we will discuss the theory along with some examples and in the third part basically we will discuss the questions and in examination basically you will directly find four to five questions basically from this chapter and that are very easy if you carefully understanding all the things. So let's start our today topic that is Chapter number 10, that is trial balance. Trial balance and rectification of errors. Clear, sir? And rectification of errors. So, in this session, basically, we will discuss regarding the trial balance, what are the types, and what are the different types of the errors. The rectification of errors, basically, we have to cover in the next session. Clear? Rectification of errors, basically, we have to cover in the next session. So, in this session, just basically, we have to find out the Trial balance and rectification of errors. Clear. So, what is trial balance and what is rectification of errors? Clear. So, let's start our discussion. So, first of all, basically, we have to discuss basically what is the meaning of a trial balance. Clear. So, what is the meaning of the trial balance? Clear. So, as per the directory of accountants, clear. So, as per the directory of accountants written by Eric L. Collar, clear. Basically, written by whom that is written by Eric L. Collar, clear. So basically, there are different definitions. Clear. So the directory of account for accountants. This is the name of the book. Clear. Sometimes basically they will ask in the examination, what is the name of the book? Basically, written by Eric L. Collar. That is directory of accountants. Clear the directory for accountants. Clear the directory for accountants. Written by Eric L. Collar. Defines trial balance. Clear. Basically, defines trial balance as a list or abstract of balances. Clear. Basically, defines trial balance as a list or abstract of balances or of total as debits and total credits of the accounts clear so basically defines trial balance basically what that is as a list or abstract of balances or of total debits and total credits of the accounts clear or of total debits and total credits of the accounts in a ledger clear basically in a ledger the purpose in a ledger basically the purpose being to determine clear the purpose basically being to determine the equality of posted debits and credits. Clear. What is the purpose? There? That is basically to being the determined. Clear. Basically, either I that is debit is equal to credit. Clear. Just basically to determine. Clear. In a ledger, basically the purpose basically being to determine the equality of posted. Clear. The equality of posted debit and credits as to establish a basically basic summary for the financial transactions. Clear. And basically, in the end, basically, what they're saying is basically, and to establish a basic summary, basically, for the financial transaction. Clear? Basically, for what? Basically, for the financial transactions. Clear? So, there are some things, basically, which you have to remember that, first of all, transaction, basically, it is going to be held. Clear? First of all, transaction, basically, it is going to be held. After that, basically, what the process is going to on, that is journal entry. Clear? Second one, that is journal entry. Clear third one after the journal entry. Next step is this, that is ledger entry. Fourth one that is trial balance. Clear basically from the these entries, basically we have to prepare the trial balance. And in the end, basically what we have to prepare that is financial statement. Clear in the end, basically what we have to prepare that is. Clear in the end, basically what we have to prepare that is that is the financial statement. Clear that is the financial statement. Clear. So this is the definition by the Eric L. Collar, and it is basically mentioned basically in his book that is the directory for accountants. Second one by that is Mr. Carter. Clear. So how Mr. Carter basically defines the trial balance? So Mr. Carter basically defines the trial balance basically as a list of those debits and credit balances clear so basically how mr carter basically defines the trial balance so mr carter basically defines the trial balance basically as a list of those debit and credit balances clear basically as a list of those debit and credit balances clear basically which are accepted from various accounts clear basically which are accepted basically from various accounts in the ledger clear basically which are accepted basically from various accounts in the ledger and balance of cash in hand and cash at bank clear basically which accepted basically 
which are accepted. Clear, basically, what are accepted? That is basically those debit and credit balances. Clear. So trial balance basically as a list of those, as a list of those debit and credit balances, which are accepted. Clear, basically, which are accepted basically from various accounts, which are accepted basically from various accounts in the ledger, and balance of cash in hand. Clear, basically, and what are the balance? That is balance of cash in hand. And cash at bank, clear as shown by the cash book, are also included in it. Clear. So please remember that basically that is cash in hand and cash at bank. As shown by the cash book, clear basically as shown by the cash book, basically also included in it. Clear basically as shown by the cash book also included in it clear so please remember both of the definition now basically we have to discuss one collaborative definition clear in the next step basically we have to discuss one collaborative definition clear basically from the both clear basically from the both so what is that collaborative definition so let's discuss so thus basically from the above two definition the simple definition basically can be drawn and what is that basically a trial balance clear so what is the trial balance basically a trial balance basically it is a statement clear so what is that basically a trial balance basically it is a statement showing debit and credit balances clear basically what it shows basically showing credit and debit balances taken from the ledger clear basically showing debit and credit balances basically taken from the ledger including cash and bank balances clear basically including cash and bank balances basically as on a particular date clear including cash and bank balances basically as on a particular date. Clear. So what is the trial balance? The trial balance basically it is a statement showing debit and credit balances. Clear basically trial balance basically it is a statement showing debit and credit balances taken from the ledger. Clear basically from where it will take that is both debit and credit balances basically taken from the ledger including cash and bank balances. Clear basically including cash and bank balances basically as on a particular date clear including cash and bank balances as on a particular date clear as on a particular date clear so this is a trial balance clear so this is a trial balance that basically shows the credit and debit balances clear taken from the ledger including cash and bank balances clear so this is some of the definition basically which you have to remember please remember that hey clear here basically they have not mentioned anything regarding the cash at bank and cash in hand clear that is basically by the Eric L. Collar clear so but this is to be mentioned by the Mr. Carter clear this is to be basically mentioned by the Mr. Carter clear now next one basically we have to discuss different types so what are the features of a trial balance clear next one basically what are the features of a features and purpose of a trial balance wait a minute I think there is a So what are the features and purpose of a trial balance clear so simple basically it is a list of debit and credit balances clear basically drawn from the ledger clear so what is that basically it is simply a list of debit and credit balances basically drawn from the ledger it includes cash and bank balances also <clears throat> its main purpose basically is to establish arithmetical accuracy clear so basically what its main function basically its main function or its main purpose basically is to establish the arithmetical accuracy clear is to establish the arithmetical accuracy of the transactions. <coughs> arithmetical accuracy of the transaction basically recorded in the books of a court. Clear. So its main purpose basically is to establish the arithmetical accuracy of the transaction basically recorded in the books of accounts. It is usually prepared. Clear. So basically, when the basically we know that basically balance sheet. Basically, when the balance sheet it is to be prepared. <coughs> Balance sheet it is prepared basically generally at the end of the financial year. Clear balance sheet it is basically prepared generally at the end of the financial year. Similarly, trial balance clear trial balance it is basically one part before that financial year statement clear. So basically it is usually prepared at the end of the year. Clear basically generally basically it is usually prepared basically at the end of the year, but it can also be prepared clear. It is usually prepared basically at the end of the year. But it can also be prepared anytime, clear. But it can also be prepared anytime as and when required, clear. But it can also be prepared basically anytime as and when required. Example, monthly, quarterly, or half yearly, clear. So, but it can also be prepared basically at any time 
as and when it is to be required. Clear example, either it is to be prepared monthly, quarterly, or half yearly. Clear depends upon case to case. Clear basically when it is to be prepared. Clear either monthly, half yearly, or quarterly. Now move to the next one. Basically, it enables the traders to know amount receivable basically from the customer. Clear basically how much amount basically they are going to receive and how much basically they are to be payable. Clear. So it enables the trader. Clear basically it enables the trader basically to know amounts. Clear. It enables the trader basically to know amounts receivable basically from the customers and amount payable to the suppliers. Clear. Amounts receivable basically from the customers and amounts payable to the suppliers. Last one that is basically it facilitates. Preparation of the final accounts. Clear basically it facilitates basically preparation of the final accounts. Clear basically final accounts basically it is our chapter number 14. Clear. So basically this topic basically it also plays an important role basically at that time also. Clear. Trial balance basically it is also plays an important role regarding the preparation of final account. Clear. This is our chapter number 14. Clear. Now move to the next one. So what are the types of trial balance clear? So what are the types of the trial balance and preparation of the trial balance clear? So very easy. Just you have to understand basically there are two types of the trial balance clear gross trial balance and net trial balance clear. Just basically we will able to understand from one example clear. What is the difference between both these things clear in the examination? Sometimes basically just they are asking simple thing like basically they will give you one scenario clear and you have to analyze clear basically what is Either it is a gross trial balance or the net trial balance clear or basically in the part third clear basically in the upcoming sessions clear basically in the part third clear basically we will discuss the MCQs on that also clear so that you are able to understand all these things. Okay, so what are gross trial balance and what is net trial balance? So like gross trial balance clear. So what is gross trial balance? So basically it is prepared in the following stages clear it is prepared in the following stages take total of debit and credit columns of each ledger account clear so basically from each ledger account basically we will take basically what is debit what is credit second one basically take total of receipts and payments clear second one basically that is take total of receipts and payments of cash book clear Take total of debits and credit columns of each ledger account. Second one, basically, that is take total of receipts and payments. Clear, basically, take total of receipts and payments of cash book. Clear of cash book, basically, showing separately cash, bank, and discount columns. Clear, basically, take total of receipts and payments. Clear, basically, take total of receipts and payments of cash book, showing separately cash, bank, and discount columns. Clear, so what it's showing? Showing separately. Cash, bank, and discount columns. We are showing separately cash, bank, and discount columns. Clear. So let's discuss basically with the help of one example. Next one basically write the names of all the accounts as per the ledger and cash. Clear. Basically, write the names of all the accounts basically as per the ledger and discount accounts basically as per cash book onto a statement. Clear. Fourth one enter the debit and credit totals basically against each item. Clear. Enter the debit. Clear. Just basically if this much is a debit and this much amount is a credit. So basically you have to write both clear. Not basically net. Basically we have to write both. Or final take total of all the debits clear. Enter the debit and credit totals clear. Like basically in specific entry clear. Like this is a in that 10,000 debit 20,000 credit. Clear. So basically this is the gross. Same in the A, basically, if we have to write net. So net, what is the difference between that? 10,000, that is 20,000 minus 10,000. So the difference between both of them, that is 10,000. Clear. So net is net trial balance. Difference is 10,000. Clear. And whether credit is more or debit is more. Credit is more than the debit. So basically, we will write here 10,000. Clear. So this is the difference between the gross and net. Clear. So this is the difference between the gross and the net. Clear. So in the gross, basically, we have to write on both the sides. Clear? Basically, in the gross, basically, we have to write on both the sides. Basically, how much there is a debit and how much there is a credit. Clear? And in the net, basically, you have to check out. Clear? Basically, whether debit is more or whether credit is more. Clear? And first of all, basically, 
before checking whether debit is more or credit is more, you have to take the difference between the debit and credit. Clear? You have to take the difference between the debit and credit. And after that, just check basically whether debit is more or credit is more. Clear first case, that is credit is more than the debit. Clear? So just write on the credit side. Second case, if debit is more than the credit, just write it on the debit side. So please tell fast. It is clear to all of you basically what is the basic difference between the net trial balance and the gross trial balance. Please respond fast. And we now will discuss one or two examples on the basis of that. Just please try to answer with what I am saying here. It is clear. This is basically one of the question in the examination. Clear? Just you have to understand. Clear? Just you have to understand basically what is the basic difference between that. Nothing. No need to worry other thing. Just I will tell you before discussing the examples, I will show you net trial balance. Clear? Before discussing the example, first of all, I will try to show you basically what is net trial balance. Clear? Net trial balance. Clear? Only after that, basically, I, we will discuss the example. Clear? So, under this trial balance, clear? So, basically, under this trial balance, net balances of each account, clear? Basically, net balances of each account are drawn and shown in the trial balance clear basically under this trial balance basically what they are saying that basically net balances of each account clear so under this trial balance basically net balance is clear like credit is 20000 debit is 10 5000 so what is the net net is basically difference between both that is 15000 clear so under this trial balance basically net balances of each account are drawn and shown in the trial balance, clear, and shown in the trial balance. If the debit total of an account is more, clear, so what they are saying that, if the debit total of an account is more, that is debit is more than the credit. So basically it will show a debit balance, clear, so it will show a debit balance. And if the credit total of an account is more, so it will show a credit balance, clear, that is if the credit total of an account is more than the debit, so it will show a credit balance. Okay, so this is the basic difference clear. So basically this is the basic difference between the net trial balance and the gross trial balance clear. So this is the basic difference basically between the net trial balance and the gross trial balance. So let's discuss basically with the help of one example, which is given in the book. So basically what they are saying that basically on 31st March 2019, the total of debits and credit sides of various ledger accounts and receipts and payment side of the cash and bank columns of cash book of Mr. Bhagwan Das are as under. Clear? So basically they have given that as basically of the Mr. Bhagwan Das. So this one is the total of debit side, name of the account and total of credit side. Clear? So basically here, first of all, Bhagwan Das capital. Clear? Bhagwan Das capital. So basically what is basically debit side? This one is 10,000. On the credit side, basically it is 1,35,000. Clear? On the debit credit side, basically it is 1,35,000. Clear? So if the net, so basically I will tell you here account, debit, credit. So first one is Bhagwan Das Capital. So on the debit side, basically we will write here 10,000. On the credit side, basically we will write here 135,000. Similarly, if this same thing, basically if they ask, this is the gross trial balance. And if in the net trial balance, what we have right? Bhagwan Das Capital, clear? Bhagwan Das Capital, that is. So what in the net trial balance clear? So what is the difference between both these things? That is 1,35,000 minus 10,000. So it comes out to basically 1,25,000. And which side is more? Debit side is more or credit side is more? So credit side is more. So basically there is a credit balance clear. So basically here basically we will write 1,25,000. Clear? So this is the gross trial balance. This is the net trial balance. Clear? Similarly in the drawings. In the drawings, basically, there is only debit balance, so there is nothing, anything clear. So that is the entry, it is to be same clear. That is the entry, basically, it is to same in the net trial balance and the gross trial balance clear. Next one that is stock on 31st March 2013 clear. So this is also basically same entry, basically, on the net trial balance and the gross trial balance that is basically stock debit side. So basically, we will write it on debit side. Next one that is purchases. So one take more example that is purchases. So purchases. So in the case of the gross trial balance, clear in the case of the gross trial balance. So what is debit? That is 1,90,000. What is credit? 4,000. 
clear so basically this is the case of the purchase clear next one that is purchase in the case of net trial balance clear purchase in the case of the net trial balance clear so net basically that is difference of both 1 lakh 90 thousand minus 4 thousand 1 lakh 86 thousand so basically debit is more or credit is more basically debit balance it is more so basically we will write on debit balance that is 1 lakh 86 thousand so please tell fast now it is clear to all of you basically what is debit sorry what is gross trial balance and what is net trial balance please tell fast now as i have taken both the things basically in the same question both points basically i will discuss basically here in the same question please respond fast if you have any doubt any query regarding that okay so just basically i will show you the things basically regarding that so basically what we have discussed clear so gross trial balance as on 31st march clear we have not discussed all the figure just like Bhavanda's capital clear 10000 on the debit side so basically we will write here 135000 on the credit side just basically we will write here clear lf basically what is lf that is laser folio clear sometimes basically many students are able to not understand basically what is lf so lf basically here stands for the laser folio clear so please remember all these things clear so please remember all these things that are basically very, very important for the examination point of view. Clear? Okay. So, like drawings. Clear? So, 25,000. Just on the debit side. Clear? Because there is not any credit. Stock. Purchase is 1 lakh 90,000, 4,000. Clear? So, in the net trial balance, just basically we have to write it here. 1 lakh 86,000. Okay, so all these are very, very important to understand. Just I will move towards the, this is the trial, net trial balance, clear? So this is the net trial balance, like Bhagwanda's capital, clear? On debit side, basically we have 10,000. On credit side, basically we have 135,000. I have already explained, clear? Just I have shown you, clear? So Bhagwanda's capital here, that is 125,000. Clear? So Bhagwanda's capital here, that is 125,000. That is difference between net, basically what is the meaning of net? Net basically that is the difference. What is the meaning of a net? Net basically that is the difference. Clear basically between the both. That is between the debit and the credit. Clear that is the debit. Like in purchases. Clear. Like in purchases basically we have already told you basically on the debit side basically how much amount that is 1,90,000. On the credit side basically it is to be 4,000. So in the net clear basically we have to take the difference. Clear net that is 1,90,000 minus 4,000. 1,80,000. 6,000 clear and this is more debit balance so basically we will write it on debit side clear so basically we will write it on debit side any doubt any query basically up to this much point please till fast clear if you have any doubt any query basically up to this much point Please respond fast. After that, basically, we will move towards the next point. Stock. Basically, what is a stock? Stock, basically, it is an asset. Clear stock, basically, it is an asset. Clear? I will explain that is basically which is to be considered under the asset, basically, which is considered to be under the liability. Clear? In the next question, clear, I will discuss all these things. Clear? The next question, basically, I will discuss all these things. Just here, please tell fast. If anyone has any doubt, basically, regarding the net trial balance and the gross trial balance, clear? Anyone has any doubt regarding the net trial balance and the gross trial balance, clear? So, it is, I hope it is clear to all of you regarding what is net trial balance and what is gross trial balance, clear? So, please here, basically, note one thing. So, while preparing a trial balance, clear, basically, while preparing a trial balance must remember what is that assets and expenses asset and expenses shows debit balance clear basically asset and expenses show debit balance please remember this one thing clear basically while preparing a trial balance asset and expenses basically show debit balance and income and liabilities show credit balance clear income and liabilities basically show credit balance 
clear so assets and expenses clear assets and expenses how you have to remember that like basically you are purchasing a machinery clear you are purchasing a machinery clear so basically what is machinery machinery basically it is an asset for the organization like you are purchasing a machinery basically for the organization so basically machinery is to be considered as an asset clear and at the same time clear basically you have pay amount clear basically and at the same time basically you have to pay the amount clear basically for the purchase of the machinery clear you have to pay the amount basically for the purchase of the machinery clear that is basically expense clear so basically asset and expenses basically all these balances basically show on the debit side clear all these things basically show on the debit side clear so please remember this thing clear so please remember this thing just on the basis of that, basically, I will discuss one question. Okay, next one. So here, basically, they are saying that basically, that is basically from the, not com, basically, it is from. So from the following balances of Shri Indra Kumar, prepare a trial balance as on 31st March. Clear? So basically, here, what we have to prepare? That is prepare a trial balance. Clear trial balance basically as on 31st March 2019. Clear. So I will I request all of you please tell fast. Just remember that. What do you have to remember? That is all assets and expenses. Debit balance. Income and liability. credit balance clear just you have to remember that clear and here basically just you have to tell clear basically whether this is an asset or expense or income or liability clear so in the smart capital clear so basically in the smart capital clear so what is that it is asset expense income or liability please tell fast in the smart capital clear so basically what is that it is either asset liability capital sorry asset expense income or liability clear so basically it is a Liability clear in the small capital basically it is a liability basically which we have to return clear liability. So liability basically it is comes under on the credit side clear credit side. So drawings that is basically we have taken the money clear basically we have taken the money that is basically we can say that basically it is an expense clear. It is an expense clear so expenses basically it is taken on the debit side clear expenses basically it is on taken on the debit side clear basically if you are able to identify clear. Basically, whether it is an asset, expenses, or income or liability, clear, you are easily identified. Clear that is basically either it is a credit or it is on the debit side. Clear third one, bank balance. Clear so bank balance basically what is that? Please respond fast. Basically, what is bank balance? Clear so bank balance basically it is an asset. Clear bank balance basically it is an asset. So if it is an asset, so basically it is on which side? Basically it is on debit side. Clear, clear so it is on debit side. Clear just remember this thing. Clear asset and expense debit. And income and liability credit, nothing, no need to worry anything. Bank overdraft, clear. That is basically we have to return back, clear. Basically, we have to pay back this money to the bank. So basically, it is a liability on our side, clear. Basically, it is a liability on our side, clear. If it is a liability, so basically, we will put it on the credit side, clear. Basically, we will put it on the credit side, clear. So basically, if it is a liability, basically, it is put on the credit side. Next one, that is discount allowed, clear. Like earlier, basically, we are selling anything, basically, at rupees 1,000. Now, basically, we are selling the same thing, basically, 10% discount, basically, we can say that 900, clear. So, basically, we are giving 100 discount, clear. So, basically, for us, basically, what is that, clear, basically, for us, basically, what is that, basically, it is a loss or it is earning, clear. So, basically, for us, basically, it, what is that, clear. So, basically, it is a loss, loss, basically, we can say that, basically, it is an expense, clear. Earlier, basically, we are earning more, now, basically, we are earning less, clear. So, basically, we can say that discount allowed. So basically when discount is allowed, so basically it is a loss for us, clear? That is expense, clear? So it is treated as an expense. So if it is treated as an expense, so basically it is on the debit side. Next one, discount on, clear? So earlier basically we are purchasing the raw material that is basically 1000 rupees per kg. Now basically we are purchasing the raw material that is 850 rupees per kg, clear? We are getting discount, clear? Discount allowed, that is basically we are giving the discount. Discount on, that is basically we are... <coughs> getting the discount clear basically we are getting the discount so basically when we are getting the discount so basically we are earning more that is basically let's to the income 
income if it is led to the income so basically we will put it as on the credit side clear basically we will put it on the credit side clear this example basically same it is as present basically in your book just i am discussing in detail salary clear salary basically we have to pay clear salary basically we have to pay so basically what is salary basically it is an expense clear so salary basically it is an expense so basically we will put it on the debit side purchase clear so basically what is purchase clear so what is purchase so purchase basically we are purchasing anything clear so basically we are paying money that is basically it is also comes under the category of the expense clear it is also comes under the category of the expense so basically if it comes under the category of expense so basically we will write it on the debit side <clears throat> clear now next some more so basically it helps you to clear more so sales so what is sales clear basically when we are selling anything clear so what when we are selling anything i will tell you write it here once again asset for my expense it is debit just remember that a e d a e d and first vowel second vowel d income and liability i l c okay so sales so basically sales basically what lets to that clear so sales basically what lets to that income clear so income basically that is earning so that is basically credit side printing and stationery clear basically for printing and stationery basically we have to pay the money clear basically for printing and stationery basically we have to pay the money clear that is basically comes under the expenses clear basically if it is comes under the expenses so basically it is to be put on the debit side clear so it is put on the debit side so loan from x clear so basically we are taking loan from x clear so loan from x that is basically which we have to return clear that is basically which we have to return so basically it is a liability so if it is a liability so basically it is considered to be as under the credit loan to y that is basically we have given the loan clear so here basically we are in the creditors clear creditor that is we can like we consider basically we are bank so basically we are giving the loan clear loan to y so basically it is an what is that clear so basically it is an expense clear so basically it is an or we can say that basically it is an asset so it is comes under the debit side machinery basically we are purchasing the machinery clear or basically machinery basically it is to be as the asset so it is also on the debit side last cash in hand clear, clear cash in hand basically it is also the asset or we can say that basically it is comes under the current asset it will also put on the debit side clear so it will also put on the debit side so please tell fast now it is now clear to all of you basically which entry basically we have to put on the debit side and which entry basically we have to put on the credit side clear just remember this thing clear basically what are expenses and what are assets if you are able to remember this thing definitely you are able to clear the question clear in the examination clear just i am focusing on the concept no need to cram anything clear no need to cram anything just need to focus on the concept definitely you are able to answer the question just they have given same thing they have given here clear like what is put on the debit and what is put on the credit side clear i think everything will be clear to you clear just understanding the concept you are able to make the table clear where most of the students face issue in this clear because they are not understanding the concept basically what they are doing they are trying to cramming the things basically from the questions clear basically they are trying to think things cramming the things basically from the questions clear now i think basically when we will discuss the question definitely you are able to answer the question correctly clear all question basically you are able to give the answers correctly clear so in the next session clear basically what we have to discuss tomorrow basically we will discuss what is the meaning of the disagreement of the trial balance and after that basically we will discuss the classification of errors clear very very important for the examination point of view that is classification of errors clear so must join the session i will post the link in the group tomorrow clear basically we will take one more session in the evening clear basically not in the morning in the evening so that all of you are able to join clear very important and very interesting sessions clear we will discuss in detail one by one and after that i will discuss some of the questions also clear in the next session so that you are able to understand all these things properly clear so thanks to all of you for joining this session.